Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So yesterday we talked about if you are going to make the right decision as far as wanting to break up. So you decided yesterday or you're thinking about deciding that was the video. So if you have not seen that video after this one, you can absolutely go ahead and watch it. Of course, at some point I will link it up above and of course down in the description box below. So today we're actually going to discuss how to break the news to your partner that you want to break up. Stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So today I have six tips for you on how you should actually break the news to your partner. So the very first one is to think about the best time it is to chat. You do not want to go into a breakup chat as much as possible. I know I know that we are all not perfect, right? So as much as possible, think of the best time to have this chat there really is no best time however you don't want to go into it in a fit of anger I know sometimes that can occur or you are trying to get back at your partner so now you're saying you know what I just wanted to break up with you anyway like try to be as mature as possible again I know that it does not always go that way but try to think of the best time to have this chat do not be a coward and do it over text message do not be a coward and do it over email do not be a coward and do it over the phone I know that some of these things will come into play depending on if you are in a long distance relationship or if you guys are just um, you know in a different state for whatever reason I get all of that however the optimal time to do the breakup is to be mature and to see them face to face they deserve the opportunity for you to look into their eyes and as a side note a lot of people don't like to look into each other's eyes because sometimes when you are looking into the other person's eyes they can have a tendency to reel you back in and this is the time that you are finally done so i get all of that but try as best as possible to have an open conversation with them face to face the second thing that you want to do ladies and gentlemen is you want to be very certain that this is what you want to do so you want to be certain in your heart of hearts that you are not going to turn back turn back you're not going to turn back you're absolutely going to say these words you are going to mean these words you're not going to play around with these words and say you know what i was just playing come back you know screaming and kicking i didn't mean it i didn't mean it know that you know that you know that you know that you know it's over and it's okay that it's over. So the first thing you're thinking about a best time to have this conversation. The second thing is that you want to make sure that this is it for you. There is no turning back. The third thing is that you want to be absolutely respectful when you are having this conversation because just because you are breaking up does not mean that this has to be a horrible time. Breakups do not have to be horrible. Both parties in the breakup need to be very mature and a lot of times it doesn't happen that way because for whatever reason we turn into little children when it comes to things not going our way whether we are the recipient of the breakup or whether we are the person who's actually doing the breakup. We turn into little kids. We turn into revenge. We turn everything into I'm going to get you before you get me and it really just doesn't have to be like that. That's all I'm saying. Just try to be as mature as possible to have these conversations. Now. A side note, you cannot and you do not have control over what the other person does, what the other person says, how the other person reacts. You only have control over you. So it doesn't matter if they're being disrespectful. You still remain respectful. You still remain the mature person. You still remain the person that looks like they got some common sense or some sanity. Okay? You don't have to look like the insane person when it comes to a breakup. So that's number three, be respectful. Number four, after this conversation is over, you want to reflect on this conversation. You want to actually think, was anything accomplished during this conversation? Because a lot of times we think that we had a breakup conversation and it didn't go the way that we planned. <laughs> right it did not go the way that we planned we are now not broken up once again we are back in the throes back in the traps of it so did anything get accomplished during this breakup did you actually break up is the weight lifted off your shoulders can you finally breathe a breath of fresh air <laughs> you don't have to worry about all of this arguing screaming cussing fussing and fighting you don't have to do all of that you don't have to worry about that so did that actually did that actually get accomplished this go round how serious were you 
did your partner actually reel you back in to say that everything is going to change, that they want it to be better? Was it one sided? Was it still one sided? Or, you know, did you go in there just blah, 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 with all of the blame, all of the pointing the finger and didn't work out because of this? I was doing this because of you. Again, you don't have control over anybody's feelings, anybody's anything but your own. And that also goes with how you act as well. All of that's tied into it. You have no control over nobody but yourself. The last and final thing that you have to absolutely think about is think about how your person is going to react. And maybe you even might have to think about a plan of escape. What I mean is, <laughs> you know that you might have a volatile person and they could start throwing some glasses, dishes, spoons, whatever it is. Just be by the door. <laughs> I'm making jokes, but I'm serious. Some Sometimes we get in these relationships with these kind of crazy folks or these people that just do some outlandish things or maybe they haven't done it to this point, but you've heard them make these comments. And so it's making you think like, you know what, this one, this person might be a little crazy. So I need to really think about their reaction and how, um, how I don't want their reaction to turn me into a different person as well. So these are my six tips. Did any of them help you out? Please let me know what you do when you have a breakup. How does it actually work out for you? Are you guys yelling and cussing? Is it very amicable? Did you see it coming? Was it something that really just kind of um, took you by surprise? Like what actually happened? Uh, let's see. I only had one major breakup and that was my divorce and it was as amicable as possible. Um, I don't do a whole lot of that yelling, screaming, cussing, fussing, blaming and all of that. I'm not saying that I don't do it all the time, but I try to make sure that I do not do it as much as possible because blaming anybody for things not working out just doesn't help. And really, we all have to take a look in the mirror at ourselves and why the relationship did not work out. There is something about yourself on why the relationship didn't work out and especially if you are going through the same thing over and over again with a different guy that does the same thing or a different girl that does the same thing she has the same body the same attitude just a different face each and every time so there is something that you are absolutely doing to be in these relationships where you are breaking up Okay, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Of course, if you have not checked out the video from yesterday, then definitely go ahead and do that. Check the description box down below. I have the playlist for the entire month of March down there. I actually have several playlists just on my channel, period, but specific to all of the questions that have been asked for the month of for the month of March. They are down in the description box below. Of course, check out my online courses. They are still posted down in the description box below and then other video links as well from previous videos that I have already done. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button if this is your very first time here or if you have been coming multiple times and have yet to hit the red subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the team. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.